project. Um, it's through The Great Discontent and I'll put the link down below. But um, this is actually the magazine and it's a great magazine about um, artists. So it's kind of, yeah, it's $25 so it's kind of pricey. Excellent articles in it um, about from all different kinds of artists. But um, they have a, um, I want to say program but that's not the right word. Starting on, I think it was the 19th of April, um, they, you start your 100 day project and for the next 100 days you do anything that you want that is creative. Um, you could do, you know, 100 sketches, um, you could do 100 index cards, you could, you know, try to do all the same thing, type of thing, or you can just make sure that every day for 100 days you show up and you do some sort of art. It doesn't matter, just as long as you're creative. So I went ahead and started doing that because I, you know, was in a really big slump and hadn't been doing anything creative at all. And I thought, you know, I think this would be great for me to do. And then I couldn't think of what I wanted to do. <laughs> um, but I saw on Instagram, and of course now I can't remember her name, but someone who I follow on Instagram um, was going to do 100 on a piece of 9 by 13 piece of watercolor paper. She was going to make a mark on it for the next 100 days. And I thought, you know, that's great, and that's something that I can probably do, because I just didn't know how I was going to feel creatively and just if I would be able to stick with the 100 days. And then I remembered that I had this canvas down in my basement, and it was actually um, a canvas that my daughter had to do an art project on for school when she was in high school, and she absolutely hated it after she was done and got it back, and she wanted to throw the canvas away, and I was like, no, you can't throw this away. So I, I painted over it with gesso, and um, then I put some book paper down on it, and then I put down some green tissue paper, some yellow tissue paper and some blue tissue paper and I had originally wanted to do some sort of a floral on it or I, I wasn't totally sure. Then I left it down in the basement and I think it probably sat in the basement for at least two years and didn't touch it because it was, you know, it's big. It's big and it's intimidating and I've never worked on anything this large before. Um, but whenever I saw the idea about just working on one sheet of paper, I thought, you know what? I have this one big canvas, maybe I could work on this canvas just a little bit every single day. And I was also inspired by Miss Steele because she um, has some videos where, you know, for I think she did maybe 30 days and each day she just did a little bit of something on the canvas. And I love that idea. So I started on that and today is actually day seven. I haven't done day seven yet. Um, I have to admit that by day three, I was getting really frustrated because I would do my one color of paint on here and then I had to stop. <laughs> and it's like, well, I don't want to stop. I was enjoying it and I love, you know, getting the paint out and putting bright colors down. And I was like, why, you know, I was forcing myself to quit because I thought there's no way that I'm going to be able to make this last 100 days. Um, but then the other day I thought, you know what? That that's not what this is about. It's about being creative every single day. If I finish this canvas, then I'll stop and I'll do another canvas um, and start the next one. Okay, so finally I just decided to that I didn't care. Um, I'm going to work on it however much I felt like that day, and if I finish it, then I'll start another one. So yesterday I actually put down three different layers of paint, and um, this is this is where I'm at now. And um, I've been following along with a book that I had downloaded for free. Um, if you have Amazon Prime, you can get it free through their Kindle Unlimited. And the name of the book is Abstract Art Painting. 
how well you're going to be able to see that. I'll put the link below. Um, but it's Abstract Art Painting um, Expressions in Mixed Media by Deborah Stewart. And um, I have never done anything like this before, especially this size and abstract in this sense. So um, I had remembered that I had downloaded this, and I've been going through one of the um, projects that she has on here. So, um, which, you know, some of it was really hard because there was part where she's, you know, put down a black and it's like, ah, but, you know, it's all coming together. Um, right now, I'm really not sure if I want to stop or if I want to go on to the next step because her, the next step that she says to do is to mix some Titan Buff and Yellow Oxide together and add that around on it some places. And she has a lot more um, steps going on. And I'm really liking this, how it's looking right now. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and go for it because there's some places, these two places here, don't really have any paint on them at all. Um, it's actually the tissue paper that, that you can see. So I think I'm going to go ahead and, and do it and go for it and um, go through with the final steps that she has. And what's throwing me off is that last night I was looking for some blue and I found this little squirt bottle and I kind of got all crazy with it and went all over it. I really love how this looks. I don't want to cover a lot of that up. But I think I'm still going to go ahead and put a lot of the white down. Um, so I am going to just keep on going on with this. If I fill this up, well, when I fill this up, I'm just going to start another canvas. Because then, in um, June 1st through July 31st, is ICAD. It's Index Card a Day hey, that starts okay. up. Um, and that's uh, with Tammy Garcia, it's Daisy Yellow, and I will put the link for her on there also. Um, but ICAD starts up, so though that will probably turn into my bit of art that I do every day. I'm just going to combine, excuse you, <laughs> um, he just had a popsicle, so. Um, I'm going to combine the two and consider my index card that day to be my 100 day um, project. Unless, you know, I'm still really enjoying doing these, then I might try to do both because it will be summer vacation. So, um, that, that is that. And I think that's all that I was going to share with you. Um, I'll put the links below. And then I did take pictures of each day that, um, of each stage through this. So I'll just do a slideshow after this video so you can see how it's progressed. And um, if you don't follow me on Instagram yet, be sure to follow me there because I, don't, I every day I've been posting uh, pictures on what I'm doing on this canvas. So, and be sure to follow um, the hashtag the 100 day project because there's just oodles of people who are making amazing pieces of art. And it's great seeing what everybody's everybody's doing. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. Thanks so much, everybody. Um, thanks so much for all your comments, and um, I'll let you see see how this is how it started and where it's at now. Thanks so much. Bye bye.